Clones Worm Hat. So this video is another video analyzing the hive, the tranny hive, and specifically the idea of a red family versus a blue family. And I think these videos are really important, something that I kind of wish more people were out there telling stories, just tell stories about the trannies and the way that they act and how it's not like regular humans. So think about the arts. One of the, one of the biggest you know, ideas in literature is the human condition, what it means to be a human. And you're getting nothing but a bunch of trannies writing about what they think it means to be a human, which is crazy because these trannies are so abnormal, not the way that regular humans are supposed to be. Their whole life is a lie. They're phonies. Think of The Catcher in the Rye, how that whole book is all about phonies. It's the trannies. They talk about the trannies. These books aren't about what it means to be a human. These are books written by trannies for trannies. And that's just the way it is. Um, you're not going to get famous in this world unless you're a castrato tranny. You have to be a part of this big lie. And so I just want to use a really quick example from, from my life that shows me where their allegiance always lies. So my Rex bro like hates, hate, well, th this person's not a part of my life. My, the ex Castrato that I dated for years. And of course they never tell you, they'll never tell you your secret. If you're a, if you're a regular, they'll never tell you and they'll go ahead and marry real people. And then, Oh, I guess I can't get pregnant. Right. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, my Rex bro hated, hated my MTF ex like with a fiery passion. And I just, that's how you know where their, their allegiance lies. Because why didn't, why didn't my Rex bro ever just tell me, dude, you need to break up with like, he, my, my brother never approached me about it at all. Never said, check out the neck on that thing. That's a dude. You need to break up with them immediately. Like if that's, if you were a caring person, that's something that you would tell your brother. But these trannies, they have to live with their secret and they'll never out another tranny. That shows you exactly where their allegiance is. My brother hated my ex with a fiery passion, but never once told me, dude, it's a man, break up with them and find somebody that has hips. Like, why didn't my brother tell me that? It's because their allegiance is always to the tranny hive, not to regulars. Okay. So the reason, I just think that that, introduction is important for this video because the whole red versus blue republican democrat it, that does go into this and you just need to remember that at the end of the day these people can can want to slit each other's throats pretty much but the second a real human walks in the room those two worst enemies are united under the tranny ca cause against the regular human so these people can be totally different, red families and blue families, but they're still playing for the same team. They're still trannies. So I'm just going to go through, I just have a list with tons of stuff written on it. And uh, I just want to make comparisons because I've met all sorts of red tranny families and blue tranny families. My, um, my family is a blue tranny family. And this can go into masonry too, but I don't worry too much with that stuff. I think that there is a concept of red lodges and blue lodges, but... I only pay attention to masonry enough to know the signs and symbols and locate a mason. Other than that, I don't care. They're sodomites. So, uh, red families, very into America, you know, very patriotic. Whereas a blue family is going to be more, they'll talk down about America. And, uh, I don't know, that's just a typical, typical difference between the two. Red families will be the more religious ones pretending that they're all into Jesus. And this is kind of strange because this, I feel like it goes both. Some of them I think are pure Satanists and the Christianity is totally a front for their just, for their over the top Satanism. Some of them feel more like it's so superficial. This is a lot of red families, I think just have a very superficial understanding of, of Jesus and uh, Christianity and they'll just, they go to church every Sunday and they wear a cross and they say they're Christian. But as far as understanding the Bible comes, they have a really poor understanding other than just whatever their preacher tells them. So that's a red family. Whereas a blue family, and this is like my family, they're into new agey stuff. 
uh, Buddhism. So that's more going to be your blue family. Not If a blue family is like Christian, I feel like they tend to be more Catholics. I would say that Jewish families would fall under the blue category. And so my family, I'll just give you a, a story about my family, is the totally not religious hates my mom is hates christians she'll be oh like literally just talk about hating christians and my family has done satanic things like uh baptized jokingly with coors light and just really uh, spiritually wicked people that's often the blue the blue side red oftentimes they just seem like spiritually retarded like they don't understand the way that it works at all. Red families will be more like, well, I got Jesus, so I don't have to worry about it. And they just, they're totally degenerate people, but they think that because they have a Bible in their house and because they think Jesus is cool, that's totally red family. They they think that they're saved because they have the most superficial uh, idea and, and following of Jesus. They don't follow Jesus at all. It's just like a label that they have. So blue families, you're going to have the winos and the pill poppers and uh, the artsy fartsy people. So kind of an example I can give, uh, just the blue families are going to have more, the more theatrical trannies. Like, so I have just a story from my family. Uh, in a blue family, you'll have strats, castrados like write poetry and recite it to people and <laughs> things like that make extravagant uh just gestures of oh my new boyfriend is the love of my life and they're just i don't know very over the top they're they're very into the like theatrical aspects the red families tend to be more the down to earth trannies and so blue families you're going to get a lot of the super femi or super tranified too. Whereas the red families, you'll have more the tomboyish and just the fat, the fat Martins. <laughs> yeah, just I, so I have written here, they're uh, couch, but like red family, you get the fat couch potato Homer Simpson Rex dads. And yeah, they just. The red families tend to be more down-to-earth looking people. The blue families will be more... You'll have the FTM dads that ride bikes and shave their legs and more femi, more fake hair, plastic surgery face, that type, of, that type of stuff. So yeah, blue families will be a lot of school teachers, work in government, whereas red families will be mechanics. They'll own shops a lot of the times. So you have no idea how many how many T-Rexes I know that own shops. So here's a satanic. This here maybe this is like a red lodge versus blue lodge thing. The only trannies I know that are missing fingers are all red family. They I know quite a few uh, Martins who are missing a finger on one of their hands, and it's probably satanic occult related. And they just make up an excuse. What are the excuses? I've oh, I got my finger caught in a in a motorcycle chain, something like that. They just make up an excuse, but it's probably a cult related. Whereas the blue families, I've seen a lot more blue families that it looks like they're blind in one eye. So maybe that's a thing. Maybe some maybe different branches of this the Satanist thing. But at the core, it's all this tranny lie. They all share the same lie. The tranny lie. But there could be different branches that have slightly different occult rituals. That's just something I've noticed. I, I've never really noticed a blue family that has missing fingers. That tends to be a red family thing. And sometimes these families will mix. I guess I'll just stop and talk about this for a second. But usually the way it is, a red Martin can be with a liberal, like, blue uh, strap. But I, I don't think I've ever really seen a, a red female with a soy boy FTM, you know, that's blue. You see all these stereotypes, stereotypes exist for a reason. It's because they work. The trannies, they're all alike and they're not like us regular people. If you're really good at putting people into categories, you get a lot better at, at spotting these trannies because you realize that they have all these, they share all the same qualities that aren't like regular people. 
All right, so really quick, I'll just shout out some Red Family things. Uh, really into fart jokes. The Martins are really into fake big boobs, and they really push their Martin children to always talk about fake big boobs and how they like boobs. Um, and they're really into deep sea fishing, and they probably know a lot of people who work on oil rigs, probably have raised trucks to compensate for their micros. And they're definitely big time tryhards. Like, look how look how manly I am because I'm gross. Like that's a total red, red Martin type thing to do. So, oh, I want to talk about dogs really quick because it's a good way to differentiate between like a red family or a blue family. And it's just a big area where you can tell that that trannies and regular humans act different. So I don't know. Regular humans, we like animals, and we'll have pets we'll have dogs as pets and we like them as pets and we love them and that's fine uh i mean i don't actually support pets i just think that it's another thing there to make your life more difficult and anyways um so red families would be more likely to be like a breeder family like families that breed purebred dogs and they like the working dogs the big dogs uh you know i just american bulldogs things like that Whereas a blue family, they'll probably be more into uh, just the fancy, prancier type pure breeds or just like a shelter dog. Because a big thing that blue families are all about is virtue signaling. They want to they wanna be the most progressive. They want to love trannies the most. And they want to screech the loudest about killing babies, Planned Parenthood and stuff. That's like a blue family thing. They're big virtue signalers. They want to talk about how environmentally friendly they are. That's blue family. Hu regular humans, we don't just have to, we don't act so much. We don't try so hard unless we're subverted. Um, I feel like most of us have kind of had a sense that something has been amiss. Something's been wrong here on earth. And I feel like we've kind of adopted a more passive role. And uh, it seems like the trannies are the tryhards. If you know anybody in life that's like an extreme tryhard, it's just probably a tranny. So I just read some things off the red family, and then, so let me just read some things off blue family. Blue family more likely to be like, oh, we're going to Prague for Easter. Just random stuff like that. They Big travelers to Europe and other places just for way too much. And it's that's how you know that they're a tranny family. Regular families, regular humans, we don't, like, go cruise over to, to Europe just for the heck of it. Um, when I think of blue families, I think of skinny bitches. Excuse my language, but it's what I think of. I think of FTM that are obsessed with their cars. Short, spiky-haired, scary, quote-unquote, women. <laughs> That's like my family. It's scary. They have a hive mind, too. My family, all of the strat women they went and lopped off their hair at the same time they're weird hive-minded just creatures uh they turn into harpy demons in middle age the strats and their their husbands are always aloof so this is a personal story my uncles i've probably spoken like a dozen or so words with each of my uncles over my whole life they're so aloof they don't ever talk to me. That's actually just a thing. If you're a real man, I think FTM, they don't like interacting with you. If if there's an inverted FTM that knows that they're a creature, I think that they mostly just try to stay away from uh, regular males. That's Because that's how all my uncles are. None of them ever speak to me, ever. <laughs> they're so aloof. And to be quiet and reserved is female. And all of my aunts are really outgoing, like, loud. If if they have an opinion, they are going to make you hear it. That's that's me. That's, I don't know, I, that's just a masculine thing. Women tend to keep to themselves. Men are the ones that want to be heard and are, are louder in general. But tranny land, everything's backwards. So, um, yeah, I mean, that that's... Oh, so I'll just end with one thing, a big difference between blue families and red families. So I feel like blue families, you're more likely to have the psycho strat mom uh, with a daughter who are super, super close, like not healthily close. Think of Gilmore Girls. That's that's a blue family that I, I think of that type of pair. Uh, 
just a psychotic strat mom and the daughter who are inseparable. And it's just very strange. But then on the other hand, for the red families, that's, you have a very strong father son, but it's really, it's a free Martin dad, free Martin son relationships. They teach them a lot more about how, how the world works and all that. Whereas I feel like in the blue families, it's not so much. It seems like the dads in the blue families are more likely to just be workaholics and just uh, not really pay much attention to their children. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless everybody.